So are you, you meet somebody, like you meet a girl and you're interested in her and like, so what do you do? I'm like, well, I attend bar over at blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, so what do you really do? And I'm like, no, I really do that. In fact, I was there just a couple hours ago. I really do that. Over the last 25 years, I've spent the vast majority of that working in the front of house restaurants, both bartending and serving, managing. Yeah, server and bartender has been in my blood for two decades. I've done fine dining and I've worked wine bars and I've done breakfast joints. God, breakfast joints are so much fun. It gets in you and it's an addiction. A few years back, I was dating a girl at the time that was encouraging me. She was working in corporate, was very successful. So I pursued having a normal job. It's when I had my desk job, my normal job, and I ended up working in insurance. I went through the training and I went through all this, I was getting up every morning, having my coffee, driving into work. I would sit in this cubicle. That's what other people want to do. And it's like, I can't judge anybody for it. But for me, I just remember that one morning, like it just hit me and I sat down and I just started crying. I went from tending bar to having a desk job. And I went from working four days a week to working five days a week. And I took a third pay cut. I guess I'd kind of convinced myself having a more adult job was the next thing I had to be doing. Once I let go of that and started working weekend brunch at a little joint in my neighborhood, I'm like, I was working seven days a week. People are like, aren't you nuts? You're working seven days a week. And I'm like, no, no. I'm at work five days a week and I get to go have fun at a restaurant on the weekends. Cause like that, oh my God, I was moving again. I felt energized. I was so like, it was amazing how much it was giving back to me. When you're in the bar and restaurant business, you meet some of those fascinating people from all walks of life. I mean, people have traveled the world, ministers, acupuncturists, master masons, people I would never have ever come into contact with. If I didn't work behind a bar on the floor of a restaurant, I work four days a week and I have three days that I don't have to be anywhere unless I've scheduled something. For me, it's really important to have downtime where I get to work on side projects and I get to have time to travel. Right before I came to do this, I had a meeting with a guy about a business model for a new concept. At home, I'm working on three woodworking projects. I used to write for a magazine, host beer tasting classes. I know that my lifestyle is not the most traditional, but it's the way I need it to be. Sincerely, you just quit giving so much of a fuck about whatever people think.